Greetings, Santa! Merry Christmas! Oh, oh, oh. How you doing this year? Good. How about you? Oh, well, we're doing well, thank you. It it just doesn't seem like it's been a whole year since we've spoken, but it's it's nice to see you again. Yeah, it's been a short year. How's uh, how's uh, the king and queen of uh, Shelby Land over there? <laughs> They're doing. We're both doing really well, and and so are Walker and Blair. Good, good. Well, as usual, I have a list of questions for you, so we might as well get going right away. Alrighty. How do you know if somebody is naughty or nice? Well, I have elves all over the world that watch over the children, and the elves come back and report to me if they're naughty or nice. If they're, uh, if they're nice, they're jumping around all excited and they let me inform me and if they're on the naughty side then they're not so happy and jumping around and then we we try to figure out ways to help the situation oh so you you help to um, improve the children so that they they get on the nice list if they're naughty yes oh that's wonderful okay I imagine their parents appreciate that, too. Yeah, we don't like to leave anybody out. Good. What are you getting the reindeer for Christmas, and how about the elves? What are they getting for Christmas? Well, uh, the reindeer, I'm going to get them new sleigh bells and some new brushes so I, we can groom them and, and, and keep, keep the big hairballs out of them. So... <laughs> And that's what we're going to do this year for them. That's and then the elves, the elves, there are just so many of them. Uh, uh, we usually have a nice big family dinner and have little gifts. They don't ask for, they don't ask for much. Uh, they, they do, uh, they do want a vacation though. <laughs> I imagine so. I imagine they're getting pretty tired. How many hours a day do they work? Uh, it's pretty much uh, 24-7, but there's a lot of different shifts. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, do you have vacation plans when this is all over with this year? I would uh, I would like to take Mrs. Claus and go to Hawaii. <laughs> oh, that would be really nice. Yes. Any one island sound better than another, or just all of them, or...? This all of them. Oh, that would that would be lovely. What um, what kind of good deeds do you like to see the children doing? What what gets them on that that nice list? Well, just anything to help others share, be nice to one another. Um, yeah, just anything that can help mom or dad or grandma or grandpa or school, or just, just anything, or a perfect stranger. And, and what are your favorite Christmas songs? Well, I like uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, A White Christmas, and I really love Santa Claus is Coming to Town, and Is a Night Before Christmas, and Jingle Bells. Wow, those those are some of my favorites too. I really like those. What's the the most popular gift being asked for this year? Uh, Legos for the younger boys, and then uh, game systems for the older boys, and iPhones for the older girls, and still number one baby dolls for the younger girls. Ah. Uh, and what's the, what's the strangest thing that a child has ever asked for? Well, I've done a lot of thinking this morning, and it just happened this year, and the parents were really uh, confused, too. I had two kids ask for pet toys this year. And the reason why it was so strange is they do not have pets. 
So I thought that was uh, kind of odd, but they're going to get pet toys for Christmas. <laughs> well, I guess that's a, a hint, maybe, for an after Christmas gift, huh? Maybe. <laughs> What's the most heartbreaking gift a child has ever asked for? I imagine there's those children that don't have much and, and ask for something special. Well, I had uh, one little girl. Uh, she asked and wished for her mother to be here. Her mother had passed away. Oh. And I said, your mother is here. In spirit, she's here. She's with you. And... Uh, and just uh, keep her in your, your heart. That was the perfect answer, Santa. You're going to get me all teary. <laughs> <laughs> what was the funniest thing that's ever happened to you as you've been delivering uh, the toys and gifts to the children? Well, that would have to be a couple years ago I crashed my sleigh. It was oh, just oh my gosh. Crash. And I, I broke the lens down my glasses that you can see. Yeah, I my fingers in my <laughs> <laughs> I better get to the eye doctor and get them fixed. Yeah, I, I think so. Maybe they'll have a good one in Hawaii for you. Yeah. And do you have any messages for the children this year? Yeah. I, I like everybody just, just, Oh, no. Well, Santa, I think we had a, a glitch right there. I'm going to ask the question over again. Do you have any messages for the children this year? Yes, I, I would like uh, everybody, children, adults, does everyone be nice to one another, get along, have a nice family din dinner together, and you got to remember, it's, it's not about the gifts. It's it's a spirit. You have to keep the spirit going. And there's a little Santa in everyone when you do something for others. That was really beautiful, Santa. That was really, really beautiful. I, I think you've got some some special children to, to uh, mention. Yes. I'll probably mess up some of their names. Uh, the elves, they like, they like uh, messing with my paperwork all the time. <laughs> okay. First off, there's uh, Al Alina and Elena. Landon. Le Landon. And they're in the Illinois. Uh, Jill in New Orleans, uh, Tara and Caressa in Florida, Amina, uh, Madden, and Maddie in Georgia, uh, Godman, Cheyenne, and Brianna, and their uh, new uh, addition to the family uh, is. What is her name? Uh, Phoebe. A little kitten. What was it, Phoebe? Phoebe. Yeah, oh, little kitten. that's a cute name. Yeah. They can't keep stuff on a tree, I guess. Oh, that's always a problem with kitties. They're not the size of the cat. Yep. So, uh, <laughs> Josh, Rebecca, and Emily in uh, Illinois. Uh, Lillian in Arizona, Gracie, Addis, Addison, and Adam in Indiana, Ethan, Landon, and Cooper, Cooper's new to the family in Indiana, uh, Sammy, and Luke in Illinois, Benjamin in Illinois, and his dog, Eddie. Yeah, Eddie's a very special little dog. <laughs> She's a Sheltie. <laughs> I've had uh, I've had two pictures with a uh, dog this year and and one cat. <laughs> <laughs> what 
did you get our picture this year, Santa? Yes, I did. Good that deal. Was very nice, and I thank you very much. Ah, oh, well, you're welcome, Santa. Thank you. Well, I think that ends our our uh, interview for this year. I wish we didn't have to wait a whole year to do it again. Yeah, well, once again, I have had a lovely year, and I've been waiting for this moment. Uh, I have a lot of fun with this. I do, too. I, I, with the interview, and I, I know how much fun you have opening up your shop and, and talking to all the children. Well, thank you, and, and we love you, Santa. Merry Christmas. Thank you, and Merry Christmas over at Shelby Land. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye.